as the number of new COVID-19 cases rises week after week, all eyes are on the Delta variety, which was first found in India and is also known as B.1.617.2. It now accounts for a rising share of the virus in the United States. However, trends in Israel and the United Kingdom, where the variation became prevalent a few weeks before it did in the United States, suggest that this outbreak will be less lethal and severe than previous outbreaks. Experts believe that improvement in immunization will be the most important factor in avoiding the worst effects. In Israel, average daily instances are already more than double what they were in mid-April, when the country's first Delta cases were discovered. In Israel during the time, there were an average of five deaths each day. Despite the increase of the Delta type, which currently accounts for more than 90% of new cases in the country, average daily mortality have continuously remained below that level. According to data from Johns Hopkins University, Israel has seen an average of less than two COVID-19 deaths each day during the latter week of May. Both cases and deaths in the United Kingdom have increased since the Delta variety became the dominant strain in the country in mid-May, although cases have increased at an exponentially quicker rate than deaths. The number of deaths each day in the UK is around double what it was before the Delta type became widespread, and the number of cases is roughly 12 times what it was. However, because trends in deaths due to COVID-19 lag behind trends in cases by a few weeks, the most recent data on deaths should be more in line with data on cases from a few weeks ago. Even three weeks ago, the number of average daily cases in the UK had surpassed the number of recent daily deaths. While both Israel and the United Kingdom offer some hope for Delta's future in the United States, analysts say Israel's results have been more overwhelmingly good due to the country's high immunization rate. The Israeli government said in a statement released Monday that its analysis found the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine to be 64% effective in preventing infections caused by the Delta variant but 93% effective in preventing severe disease and hospitalizations, compared to research published in May that said it was 97% effective. Overall, vaccination rates in the United States are comparable to those in Israel and the United Kingdom. When the first cases of Delta were discovered in the United States, Roughly 16% of the population was fully vaccinated, and now that the variant has become dominant, about 48% are fully vaccinated. Vaccination rates also differ significantly across the country. According to the latest data from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, less than a third of people in Alabama are fully vaccinated, compared to approximately two-thirds of persons in Vermont. While there is some indication that the virus may elude natural immunity from past infections and reduce vaccination efficiency marginally, doctors say these discoveries should be taken seriously but are not cause for alarm.